But on the one hand, everyone hopes this is a new start, that this is, this is like a break between the past and the future. Uh, on the other hand, I think it's very important to also recognize that we haven't seen any clear trajectory, tra trajectory of how we're going to proceed in the future. So apologies without clear and and legislated uh, programs for the future on what is going to happen now are in a way um, a measure for nothing. Uh, and we were afraid that that will be the case. Uh, the, we have elections coming up in Belgium. So we will see what will happen. Also, when um, a group of uh, experts from the UN visited Belgium in February, uh, they gave the um, uh, advice to the Belgian government to apologize to the whole of the the Congo, Rwanda, Burundi and its descendants for the atrocities done uh, through, during colonialism. And at that time, the government responded quite negatively to uh, that advice. And they also coupled that uh, ask for apology with the question for reparations. So we'll see what happens, where I am personally very apprehensive of what will happen in the future. Do you think this is a genuine apology? Some critics have said that this has come just because of pressure from the United Nations. Um, it's for it's for them to know and for us to find out. That's uh, our main question. We, I don't think we'll know until our government does put means forward with regards to uh, finally appointing an expert commission uh, f for scientific research for us to find out what really happened because now we have mostly anecdotal in information and the histories of those people individually and on the other hand we still haven't seen the um, judicial kind of form of reparations where we have people who still don't have their birth certificates who still don't have access to their archives who still don't know who their father or mother was. So that's something uh, that is most important to us. And of course, and this is the whole question around apologies. Uh, are they useful if they're not backed up? Helene de Bougala, thank you ever so much.